Ini Ini Tos ka participante
India and the consort you know, and many other coming in colleagues that I see here, joining here.
jenis popular side stock by nombor Binoy Tumar Soekia Tapi itu requesting Binoy Tumar Soekia I request Dr. Paul to please introduce Dr. Binoy Tumar Soekia Dr. Paul Thank you sir Thank you, sir. It is my immense pleasure on receiving the opportunity. Yes, sir. Dr. Paul, are you here? Yes, sir. So it is my immense pleasure on receiving the opportunity to introduce such a great facility. So Dr. Dinesh Kumar Sahitya is a scientist at CSI Northeast Institute of Science and Technology, Jorhat Assam. Dr. Sahitya is presently the associate member of Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers fellow member of Geological Society of India and fellow member of Mining Geological and Metallurgical Institute of India. He is the recipient of Santi Sharu Bhatnagar Prize, the highest Indian Science Award in 2021 for his outstanding contributions in the field of science and technology. He has also received Professor M. P. Singh Memorial Coal Science Award 2019 for the outstanding contribution to coal chemistry and technology. The Dr. R. P. Bhatnagar Award from MZMI was also conferred to him for his outstanding contribution to mineral beneficiation. He is the holder of IIME Coal Beneficiation Award in 2015, Award for Honorable Mention Technical Paper in International Pittsburgh Coal Conference USA, and MESA that is Mineral Engineering Science Association of India Award 2014. Dr. Saikya's contributions are primarily on, on alternative utilization of Indian low-grade coal resources and their value addition leading to the economic benefit of our country. His research fields also include aerosol chemistry, chemical mitigation of air pollution, and energy storage devices. He has more than 130 peer-reviewed research publications and five patents. He is mentoring several doctoral scholars in their researches. He developed a technology for the production of blue fluorescent carbon quantum dots from Indian coal, which is patented both in India and US. He has presented a number of conference papers, nearly 50 and 10 books in his credit. He has handled multiple research and development projects and currently holds four ongoing research and development projects with external research and development funding obtaining up to Rs 12.5 crore. He is the associated. He is also associated with many science journals and served as the editor of International Journal of Coal Science and Technology, as a guest editor of International Journal Oil, Gas and Coal Technology. Indoor Science Publisher. He had guest edited a special issue on Indian coal in International Journal of Coal Science and Technology. He is a regular reviewer of reputed and SCI journal in the area of coal, energy and fuel, well, chemical and chemical engineering and journal, energy and fuel well, environmental science and technology, fuel well, processing technology, powder technology, ultrasonic sonochemistry, SOTEN, chemosphere, JCLP, journal of cleaner production, etc. He has also received appreciations from Springer, Elsevier, American Chemical Society, USA, and Academic Journal, Nigeria, for his contribution to the science journal. His path breaking interdisciplinary research and development on fluorescent carbon quantum dots from Indian coal resources is much cheaper than imported ones, reducing the dependency on other countries, bringing down the import substitution of India. He does envisions of bridging this gap of nation's economic development and prosperity through his investment on research and development with its proper implementation. Now, I would like to request Dr. Binajakya sir to deliver his valuable speech. Thank you, sir. Thank Thank you. 
participants maybe let us stay in Facebook and we will take people. So uh, thank you for giving this opportunity. Now we know that we can now we know for even a science uh, you know, <coughs> science <coughs> talk and yes uh, again it's like uh, um, yeah, but so uh, let me upload. Yeah, yes, sir, it is visible, sir. Yes, it is visible, sir. It is visible.
these elements, all the currently existing or four elements, the most uh, compounds or most materials that has been formed or has been produced from what is like carbon. So it is very interesting. So what are the types of you know, carbon and what are the electrons or how it occurs? And till now there are uh, you know, several forms of carbon which are interesting, which are very demandable. Out of this, this diamond, you know, the gold is very costly and they are fight because of its, uh, uh, its conductivity has been utilized for various chemicals. So, this diamond and graphite are most uh, demandable in the market if we can produce, if a scientist or if a researcher can produce diamond and graphite from the waste materials or Unused uh, in significant details, then definitely that, that technology, that, that science is, is can be converted into weight. That is demanding. We will not be seeing that our diamonds are the biggest. So, so then, uh, then this is graphing we all know and uh, this is very really popular uh, in scientific uh, and also in electronics uh, world. So, this graphing. It's also very interesting, and, but things that is graphing is still not in India, you know, in large scale or see more low cost uh, processes available in this India, or most of the country in the world has been uh, importing carbon from particular country countries where graphene is produced in large scale. So, this uh, graphene is also really a wonderful and very costly, you know, out of uh, this thing. So, uh, to make popular, to make this more popular, person to ask the student of the scientists, and just want to have this very nice uh, instrument to present to them. They know these two fellows are the Nobel uh, and Zip, the two young uh, you know, professors. Uh, one day they were, they were in the office of the canteen, you can see canteen in the industry of the So, in the Friday uh, evening, uh, night, they were discussing what they are taking for dinner. Then two professors discussed that uh, this, you know this graphite, graphite is the layer structure. So can we uh, can we remove the layers of the graphite? Graphite which is just knows what is the structure. Graphite has layers. One is the uh, carbon layers are there. They are uh, they are uh, uh, contract and you know they are, they are uh, in the manual force mm -hmm. like so in the layers. So this two professor thought that they can be removed one layer by layer. So that you will get a big layer and you will have a high look and it will like more more significant thing in this application. So this two professor talked in the end but uh, in, in general case I think the students when they uh, Student or empty, they never talk science. So you know, we can see the difference uh, between the university uh, master and our uh, people or scientists. So they talk and immediately uh, they talk just that they do that and they use the uh, cellophane to see the figure. The cellophane is literally uh, when we go for marketing and we buy it, you can have a marriage or birthday. So this type of cellular they have used a piece of graphite inside the piece of graphite Then they will make a very very thin clay by using this cellular You know, uh, we are very uh, we are telling them to use the school we do not have to have because we have facility So you just see, just I want to give you the cultural development because we are uh, scientists So then they tap and they and make a layer and they go to the common price so, and this cellular is now in the museum. So, you see the uh, scientific combination, uh, how this combination, how uh, very small combination is converted into that. Very demanding and it was very, very oxygen. So, this is, I like, I myself like this. Uh, this is very interesting and I always go to the student. So, what is nanoscience? So, you know, the uh, law of the other is part of it. Just for comparison, you can see what is the difference between a human lamp and a uh, nano scale lamp. So, this is a scale, so I know what it takes. Uh, it's a you know, nanometer. Uh, nano uh, is very, uh, in atomic, it becomes a nano scale one, and this is a nano scale one, and it's strong, which is based on one nanometer. 
So this is a nickel monoxide cell. So uh, uh, that is why I have to do the in the gamma. So these are not very strong and good electrical properties. Just the electric is very costly, expensive. So that is why this gamma becomes very important for how to convert this. Is how to how to make the gamma? They make it Friday uh, night, but how will make it from our disposal? So so there are two processes. One is bottom uh, up and top down. So these are the general processes of power so carbon here. This is for a theoretical uh, full activity. But the thing is that those processes are very costly because it requires two plants, electric gas, heating, all of these. So we should go to a very simple, which is available in your school, in your lab, in university, in your college. So and the uh, and, and, and we find in a list, CSI and list we in our lab and found that this coal alive this idea because this coal is polluting, it is it pollutes the environment, it is a carbon, it is sulfur, so it is polluting. So then we thought that how this polluting waste we could convert it into carbon and did like graphene or nanotech, whatever it is. Then we made a process uh, a block and we are able to produce the carbon one number from this coal, this insignificant unutilized coal and the waste material. And it is because why this carbon quantum block? Carbon quantum block is 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 more, you know, more significant than graphene. That is why, you know, uh, graphene is, yes, it is very, very uh, advanced material, but, you know, this carbon quantum block is the most important property of the non-oxy. So it is a water soluble, it is non-oxy, and it can be, it has a very interesting property that is those every colors when exposed to light, it emits colors. So because of these three properties, it becomes more interesting than graphene. And it is a side. So because in fixed side, if nanomaterial has to be applied in science or bioscience, then we have to uh, take the carbon quantum block. This is not toxic. We cannot make other things like the quantum block, for example, graphene. So that is why carbon quantum is more interesting. And we have, you know, still we are able to produce this low, you know, low like this line, ideal and inexpensive hole into carbon block. And you can see the product I am showing in the slide. These are in this red line, you can see that. Uh, uh, they are, they are uh, colorless, they, are, they, they look like colors, uh, colorless. When we expose the UV light or laser light, it is very, very really beautiful uh, blue light in different days. So, because of this, uh, mm -hmm. the body is had a application in the office style, suppose mm -hmm. uh, it is something colorless, take it to some other material, like a food light, and you can, you can feel it, uh, you, you can see, you can visualize the existence of the so it is a very very interesting property and its size is very big less and it's less than the nanometer even the graphene. And also it is soluble in water and it is not toxic. It is already uh, but uh, in case of more also we call as input more I mean not similar to the better uh, property than the existing nanomaterial. So uh, we have converted this core, which is a uh, you know, 5 to this part of into a material, which is cost 100 dollars. So this is a normal school, uh, it's an example of a school that I can to the student, and how this college and the college is converted. The same thing is present in the slide. I want to show the electron microscope. You know, when, when we want to examine the nanometer, we have to use the electron microscope. It is a very, very costly equipment, very, very rare equipment. Uh, I think in Assam, uh, maybe we have two or three electron microscope. Uh, in the uh, advanced or higher institute, institute, these are uh, present. So, if uh, some students are interested, they can visit us. And there, in the electron microscope, we, we are able to look at the carbon quantum block or graphene, how they are, what is the structure, what is the morphology, how they are distributed. The so we found that these are less than 20 or 10 nanometer particles. You can see the spherical uh, particle in the electron microscope I have shown in this slide. So, and then the similar process we also apply to waste, kitchen waste. We have a lot of digital waste in the, in, our, in the domestic, in our home, in our restaurants, in the parties, in several of these things. 
decision taken yesterday. So we apply the similar process and daily out of those started. So we found that those can also be converted in cloud cover for number of and to make a uh, way out of that. So uh, this is a process, a uh, similar process to what I'm going to do But the thing is that, you know, this, uh, you see the particles of carbon 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 carbon
Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Dipankar Neog uh, is a principal scientist at CSIN in Jorhat. Dr. Neog is the mechanical and antique petroleum exploration and production, and he did his PhD in engineering. Work experience he is a lecturer of mechanical engineering department, Jorhat Engineering College, till 2005. He joined as a junior scientist at CSINIST on 2008. Dr. Neog's research interests include mechanical design, thermal engineering and biomass energy, advanced manufacturing like CNC, EDM, etc., computational engineering, modeling and simulation, rural technology, and entrepreneurship development. Uh, presently, Dr. Neog is involved in more than 15 ongoing projects funded by several research agencies like CSIR, DST, MSME, etc. And he has successfully completed more than 20 projects till now. Dr. Neog has eight patent grant till now in his name. Out of which, uh, TP16 biofertilizer for sustainable crop yields, in situ bioremediation technology, modular brick uh, from Brahmaputra riverbed sands, carbon quantum dots from low grade NER poles, etc. He has some publications. He has eight publications in several national and international peer review journals and has attended more than 15 national and international conferences till date. He received Best Young Engineer Award in 2010 by Senior Engineers Forum of Greater Guwahati. With this brief uh, remark, I request Sir to then be go ahead with his lecture. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let me first the uh, peer review, you know? Share the first slides. Okay. Is it visible? Yes, I think. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, thank you very much uh, once again, uh, respected director of CSRD and uh, respected uh, uh, Arun Goswami sir, uh, my uh, colleagues, Jyoti uh, Kalita, Pinoy uh, Soikya, and uh, other uh, scientists present online. And uh, also, and very important, all my new students. So, I have been asked to uh, give a popular talk, and uh, it was told that here both English medium and uh, Assamese medium students are also there. Uh, so, I will uh, try to speak both the languages. Oh, come here to come. Are you, uh, the new presentation to Inyaji Kormas? I will just say that English also I will use. So, uh, the topic is uh, some harmonic mechanics. Now, uh, there are many students who do not like mathematics because they think that uh, mathematics is something which uh, cannot be a harm.
then you will find that the theory once developed, uh, it will also change. These uh, other researchers find some uh, problem in those theories and they continuously improve the theory. For example, uh, what Copernicus told was again rectified by Galileo and he modified the theory. What Galileo told was again modified by Newton. What Newton told again modified by Einstein and then what Einstein told is again modified by Stephen Hawking and maybe after other years some other uh, scientists will come and then who will give this type of modifications. Our theory will have given this type of modifications. Yeah. 
ask the question. In the maybe of course in the last. So this is the basic square. If you have a basic square, you have to make another you have to sign the sign up all the numbers. There are 16 numbers. So let me say how uh, this uh, basic square works. Now we take the numbers, some the numbers in any row. I mean the MR high horizon baby. I mean the MR high take the number to four. That means 52 plus 12 plus 18 plus 87. You will find the one thirty-nine. is 
is yet when the Isaac Newton's principle uh, of mathematical is there. Uh, Isaac Newton is the one who the principle of mathematical is there. He is the one who 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 is the one such type of genius born to this country. In fact, one can read for a history behind you will find that our country is really bestowed upon all these mathematical talents. From the ancient times, all these father Amidana Riki Muni Hokal Muli from the Yonke Zibila Kitwe Goshama, Zibila Kita, Yonke Sanskrita Likitwe Goshama, all these books carry very, very beautiful mathematical theories. By the mathematics, we have a kid of a side. You have a son, you will go to that book, you will find how the different tricks, all the other tricks, this one, that 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 Yes, sir, just, just for, yeah. So you can, you can continue from very, this one, very mathematical. Yes. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, Yes, sir. Uh, what is the number of the taxis when 
the left side of your cock. Then what the whole man cock, then I will give this land to all my uh, sister, all my daughters uh, and sons. Not equal, because they do not need uh, much. So what was this idea that since doctor has a good money, he will be given a small portion. And the farmer will be given a bigger portion because he uh, lives on cultivation and he needs more money, more land. And these two daughters, uh, he decided that he will give equally. Now, I will say, so I will say, come on, come on, then. And doctor, then, you know, already, the doctor, then, we shall have a say. Thank you. 
there is something in this number. So let us see what is the reason. Just you forget the first number. If we then you find that the third number is the sum of the previous two, that means the third number a number to about the root power. And if you find the number about the number root power, you know this one. What are you going to do with that? Then this two is the sum of this previous. Then this three is the sum of this previous two. Three is equal to see two plus one. Then five is equal to three plus two. Eight is equal to five plus three. So this is the relation between the numbers. This is first month, this is second month, this is third month, this is fourth month, this is fifth month, this is sixth month. So this way, if I can write a series of one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, because eight plus five equals to thirteen, thirteen plus eight equals to twenty-one, twenty-one plus thirteen equals to thirteen. So this way we can go. So this is first month, this is second month, this is third month. Same, you find the perfect shape. Then this is the shape of a golden spider. 
Thank you so much. Uh, probably uh, it was really a very wonderful lecture and I know that the students have lots of questions. Uh, we will definitely take their questions through emails and through messages and we will definitely send those questions to you so that you can reply and we will get back to them uh, maybe in a week time. First of all, I would like to thank the Pankas sir for this wonderful lectures. Uh, I definitely believe that all the students are uh, enlightened with this lecture. They come to know lots of things. Uh, with this lecture, funded mathematics, Ramanujan's magic square, algebra is easy, perfect numbers. In fact, I learned a lot from this lecture. So, um, uh, yeah, we again we are getting some questions also, but definitely we'll get back to all the questions and definitely we'll answer all the questions in a week time. So now we are in the last part of our today's program, and I'm here to give the vote of thanks. First of all, I'd like to thank Director CSIMS, Dr. Jean Harari Sastri sir for giving us this opportunity to organize this program today. Then Dr. Arun Goswami, Chief Scientist, CSIMS, for being with us and to make this program a successful one. Dr. Jatin Kalika, Principal Scientist and Model Officer, Jigyasa, for organizing uh, this uh, program today. And the most importantly, I would like to thank both the speakers, Dr. Tipankar Neu and Dr. Pinet Kumar Sekia, sir, for enlightening all the students uh, uh, with these wonderful lectures, I, I know definitely they have learned a lot uh, from both of the lectures today. 
And finally, I'd like to thank all the participants, students, teachers who, who are connected with us for different platforms. So we have basically three platforms, uh, Microsoft Teams, and YouTube, and Facebook. So there are uh, many gatherings in different platforms. I thank all of them for being with us. And um, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.